beautiful people, how are you today? Well, it's another interesting and fun time right here in the Gov TV studios. My name is Rikia Forbari. Tolu Alokpe Okerinde, yeah. Why you ever get my name correctly? He's also here. You are always using Tolu Alokpe. Tolu Alokpe. Everything together. I'm just trying to. Tolu is here anyway. Tolu. How are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Exactly. All right. So, how have you been? Now, how's the year been? We are just like in the mid September, going to the end of the month. Oh wow. 2021, we just have like, let's say, let, let me count September out. We have October, November, and December, just just three months, sorry, three months to go. How yeah. do you feel about that? Are you excited? Are you excited about 2022? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I'm indifferent, but okay. I like the fact that um, this year has been a sweet ride. I mm. mean, I think it's been, it's been a smooth ride compared mm. to... You know the previous year well and it seems like 2021 is quite fast i mean when did we start um, okay january yeah already yeah. in september yeah and we have uh, like approximately about less than 140 days to mm. 140 days to the end of the year so um if i'm excited well like i said indifferent but I'm just really grateful to go for the journey thus far. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But for but saying that uh, 2021 has been a smooth ride, well, not really. Especially yeah. when I think about the economic situation of Nigeria. I mean, full stop. Has hey, it been? It, see, I have to talk about these things because I it's mean, important. Are, we can't live without several, food. There and are several issues. Ha, please. There are several Later, they will say I'm talking about food too much or something. <laughs> and without food, we can't <laughs> live. So it's important. But yeah, I'll I went to the market to get beans recently, and I, I was like, I, I, I had to run away because I couldn't just afford it. The God help us. I know some people actually feel what I'm saying, but Tolu don't want to talk <laughs> about it because I don't know. she doesn't eat much, <laughs> and she will say I eat much. Anyway, please <laughs> let's go. Let's go back to some conversations that we want to have today, oh and it's about the trends on social media. We know that the invent of social media has been one very huge relief for people all over the world because it has helped us tremendously, yeah. you understand? But I think a lot of times people use social media in the wrong way. And what we're talking about just this morning, just a mini brief talk, mm -hmm. is how people bring their personal life, their personal things to social media and they make it like a courtroom. Hmm. Probably you're having a um, misunderstanding with your spouse and you bring it online or you're having misunderstanding with your children or something like personal things. You put it out on social media and everybody is deliberating about it and the whole country goes boom like as in and later you start complaining that oh people are trolling me, people are abusing me or something, something like that. <laughs> when you brought this thing on yourself oh, the first media. place. I, 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 has there ever been a time to look for you that you attempted to just take something private or personal to your to your Facebook wall or Instagram or something? Something personal. Mm. No, aside birthdays or some other celebrations. Like personal that, issues. No, no, mm. no, no. I don't think. I don't know. I, I think it's just um, a function of the individual mm. and the kind of community that you have built online, mm. the kind of online community you belong to or that you've been able to build for yourself. Mm. So I feel that people are able to, you know, connect with, you know, you know, individuals, you know, many people mm. on social media because of, mm -hmm. of course, it's, um, it's one tool that we can leverage to, you know, mm -hmm. connect with people out of our reach. So we are using that well, but when it gets, to, when it gets to the point where you have to, you know, put out your, your personal stuff, what is personal to me may not be so personal to you. Mm. you. You feel like you can, these are your friends, these are family. Do you know we have, mm. you know, uh, bloggers, YouTubers, content creators that are really created a family out of, you know, the social space. Okay. So they feel like if they can share this with a physical friend or a physical relative, they can like also someone, share it online. Yeah, one with thousands can, of people. Can, as, yeah. Don't forget that you have a lot of people that are there, That's especially for celebrities it, it depends on that the, on you don't even know. They, they are yeah. just followers. They are not family. Well, truly speaking, I don't really, I'm not that kind of person. I, and I don't subscribe to, you know, putting your daily activities on social media. For some, it may work for them because, I mean, they get their means of livelihood mm -hmm. from there. You know, while others are just there to catch crews and all of that. But uh, trust me, it, it can be a lot of problem, you know, when people know practically everything about you. I mean, your, your, your things that your 
all the details of your life are just out there. You're not mm. even safe. Mm -hmm. So why won't people trust okay. you? Okay, so I feel that a lot of people say, speak out, speak out, speak out. Let people know what's happening to you. If you're being abused emotionally, physically, and all that. I think that it shouldn't be majorly social media. Mm. When we say speak out, it doesn't mean that you should just come to social media and start shouting. Speaking out can be to, as in seeking help in your close circle, mm -hmm. not on social media. Because sometimes, is it sometimes, or even most times, social media, bringing out such issues. When I talk about issues, I'm talking about problems, challenging yeah. situations, or misunderstanding, or rifts between people. You bring it out on social media, it becomes, it becomes worse. Mm -hmm. Because there will be a lot of voices speaking, and you don't know what to take, or... Who to who to who to who, who, who's who's opinion, advice or who, who to advice take. to take mm -hmm. whose advice to take rather sorry and also another thing I feel is that for people that bring out these things from social media I think in a way you are kind of like selfish or you have bad intentions because bringing in, bringing out these things you're trying to most likely most times you're trying to paint the other person bad, bad. or you are painting painting the other person bad we know that a lot of people don't know that about about mm -hmm. that person so you want people to see the ugly side of that person but we are not hearing the entire side of the story because the other person is not saying yeah. it's our own out so i feel that please people should be careful what they the put is, online so settle your differences off media especially when it comes to family family matters husband and wife is this one is <laughs> doing you one thing or the other in the house please call your family members call your mother or your father call family meeting and settle it and please leave us out of your mess exactly thank you <laughs> We'll go for a break right now. When we come back, we have a very interesting topic for you today. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Is there so you'll be pointing to you? You're hey, welcome back from that break. It's still keep it simple. And today, like I said, we'll be discussing satisfactory work conditions. Satisfactory mm -hmm. work conditions. I know a lot of people are affected by this, especially as Nigerians. Mm. We work in different places. We have a lot of sectors in this country, a lot of work conditions, different businesses, there are different cultures, you know, there are different management systems and styles. So we want to talk about satisfactory work conditions. And what we mean by that is the demands of the job, the environment, the terms of the job basically, yeah. and how workers, employees are actually satisfied during their job. But can I say that, okay, so let me ask you this question. Based on your own experience, I'm, we, are, we are not just, everything we'll be saying yes, yeah, it's just our own personal opinion. And by no means, <laughs> if you feel that, oh, this is not so, you can actually leave a comment, yeah. yeah. But it's just our personal opinions, what we think, what we've yeah. experienced in our little um, time of, of working in the corporate, uh, sector. corporate sector. All right, so... In your own time, in, in your own perspective or experiences, do you think that Nigerian working condition, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give the overall Nigerian working condition on a scale of 1 to 10? Generally. Uh, it's fair. I think I, I would say 5. 5, yeah. Okay. Because we have um, some field of endeavors where, you know, the working conditions are satisfactory mm. compared to other field of you know, work or endeavors, and it so largely depends on um, the individual skill or talent or mm. opportunities, the opportunities that come mm. across individuals. Mm. So, um, but generally, you know, you know the state of our economy, mm. uh, we have really less people doing well, so mm. to say. So, okay. um, I would say it's fair. Um, on a scale of one to ten, probably, yeah. uh, if this, you like, say five, uh, right? I yeah, think, I, I think, average, I'll, I think I'll give Nigeria very average. Let me not I be mean, too wicked, please. I think it's average. It's <laughs> I think average. four. Because compared to, oh, some, some people are on average, I feel. And the number of people that are 
high. And a number of people that are here, the, as in the margin is very wide. Yeah. The margin is very wide. It, it, the number of people that are, let's say, comfortable in their work, they are satisfied mm -hmm. with what they do. And the number of people that are not satisfied, according to my own experience, what I've seen, what I hear friends or mm -hmm. families, colleagues speak about, it's very low. Yeah. So I think I'll give Nigeria <laughs> or Nigerians four because, because you know, I feel that we can say, do better you know, compared to some other are, countries that we see yeah. and that we are aware of. I mean, mm, like, you know, I, I don't want country, to exactly. Where things are working properly. I mean, those ones will give them probably eight or nine. The mm. thing is, everything is not working perfectly well over there. Too. Mm -hmm. But of course, they are doing much better than African countries. Mm. Or should we be specific now? Mm. Nigeria. Um, but like I said, I think when we're talking about working conditions, it basically um, talks about, you know, the peculiarities associated with a particular job mm. or um, the kind of work environment that, that an individual finds himself. Mm. You know, the, um, like you said, the environment where you find yourself, the, you know, the perks and benefits that comes with the job, Attached. you mm. know, the how conducive the workspace is, yes. mm. how, you know, motivated you can get to be mm. on the job. These are things that, you know, really make up, you know, working conditions. Mm. And then we cannot begin to measure if it's something that is high or, mm. you know, the employers and, you know, um, employers of labor should just probably improve on so that, yeah. you know, their employees can be better and they, mm. they can be, you know, motivated to do much more. So it, it really depends on the field and um, the individuals involved. So it's peculiar to okay. individuals Girls. or All right. fields of work. Okay. All right. So on that note, we're going to be discussing some factors as regards sat a satisfactory work, work condition. condition yeah. Some of the factors that will make that makes that place very satisfactory or that makes that particular work um, conducive mm -hmm. or interesting, fun to be in or to to be working some of these factors so before, we, before we even go into okay. the factors that we, we've outlined you know while speaking I, I just really remembered um you know the nigerian um the residents what do they call them the nigeria resident doctor yeah or whatever. they've been yes, on strike yes. for a while mm -hmm. and i have a friend who is a doctor and you know we've had this conversation a lot of time because for the past um one month it's been since first of august or whatever mm -hmm. you know they've been on strike and mm -hmm. nothing I, I felt like, I felt like mm. Nigeria will actually stand at this, like, Nigeria will be at this stand still okay. when doctors decide to go on strike. strike. I'm like, this is a very important <laughs> sector. You know, there is something this we say on social media, we move. <laughs> if you like. Oh, Lord. So, <laughs> when there is a go, when there is, <laughs> please, I'm just joking. <laughs> Please don't be ridiculous. What do you mean that go? Nigerian doctor will not want to hear that. Like, you, know, you are just complicating matters oh for yourself. Goodness. But what I'm going to say is that, you know, for, for medical doctors or people in the health field, mm. I'm sure they, you know, they will say that funny, the working like, conditions is, is, is zero. Bad. It's terrible. Mm. It's terrible. And that's why we're experiencing brain, you know, brain drain. We have many of them traveling, you know, out of, out the, of country, the country, you know, seeking yeah. greener pasture, yeah. and all of these things. That's yeah. why I said it is field specific. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about IT, you know, mm. people working in IT, you know, um, field. Yeah. Do, those ones are really compensated. Like they are. I mean, in fact, their wages are competitive. Mm. So you find them switching from one company to the other because they are in high demand. Yeah. So for, you know, for people in that field, in fact, they will tell you they are not really seeking to, to travel out of the country. Mm. They may want to go for vacation and come yeah. because this is, I mean, they are well appreciated there. Their skills are, you know, in high demand. Yeah. So, I mean, let's just get that okay. right. Okay. It's, it's field specific and mm. individual's experiences as well. So, but mm. then let, let's just really consider the factors that okay. we can generally consider while talking about working conditions. All right. So, we will be sharing some of these things and probably we'll say, we'll, we'll give a yes or no answer to some of them. Mm. And then we we'll explain some of our, of our experiences. And please, by all means, if you have experienced experienced anything whatever you've worked mm -hmm. or something as regards whatever we'll be touching or even something that we do, we do not touch here on set please leave a comment or like our videos all right so the first thing that i feel mm -hmm. that should be a factor like the number one thing number one as you are getting to the uh organization or the company your employment terms mm -hmm. and my question is that do you feel that in Nigeria, in our working system, do you think that companies clearly state the employment terms of, of their staff? Hmm. Do, they, do they clearly, 
you then clearly state it out that okay this and this is what we'll offer to you and this and this is what we will not offer to you like this is the time you resume this is the time you close I'll this is what you'll be working yes under on something <laughs> all right so please we have our tags here we have our yes no our yes and no tags here so for you is what well if they state the terms of um, employment, yes, employment I think terms. most companies do, do that. But we have quite a number that um, are not doing well okay. in that aspect. So, yeah, yes or no. It still depends on okay. you know, the so situation. Okay, so you are in between. But, but if I'm to share from you know, my experience mm. and or, you know, other people's experience that are just around me, I don't think I've had any anybody around me got, to, like, got on a job where the terms are not clearly stated. Stated. And all. I can remember that, um, you know, before, right after uni, when I went for, before okay. I, I was mobilized for NYSE, I actually worked in a place, mm. and it was, briefly, it was mm. less than four months, mm. and I remember that some of the times stated in the, in the employment Letter, offer was yeah. that um, I'm going to be on probation for three months, months. Mm -hmm. and after which my, you know, salary would be paid, I mean, it was more like sales marketing whatever whatever mm. but why did i bring up this thing okay. i did not receive my salary for the for the four months i spent because i was on three month probation with okay. the argument that yeah we're just going to be getting allowances and all like okay. no salary but oh. by the fourth month yeah you know you would get you know all of your like the full package and mm. you would you know begin your work properly Proper. as a staff okay. but unfortunately by the fourth month i was mm. going to life for the yc so if the three months um that i had worked on probation, mm. nothing, no mm. full package. Okay, then, but they told you. What? It was stated in the offer. Okay, and you that, accepted and it. And I felt like, okay, yeah, but at least I still worked at the end of the fourth month. So I was supposed to at least Ooh, get something. Yeah. And I was really oh, mad that can at be them. So I was mad at them. And they felt like, eh, like, there's nothing they can do. I'm the one living on. Yeah. I guess another issue is that they don't get to pay on time. They don't, mm. they don't pay at the end of the of month. The month. They will pay at the beginning. At the, of, ah. So it oh was really terrible. I just went for you service and I forgot yeah. about the thing. This is... I mean, I'm sure it was more than them, all the okay. Imagine as a you come about having well, over all the okay, your account going to you say you know, so I think you went to tap, you would have just gone to Bob. Bob Bob's guess. <laughs> No, no, no. So All right. are the things. Are the issues. Okay, so, so for me, that, I think yeah, employment depends. Yes or no? Mm. I think between, I would also give uh, Nigerians a, a system employment term. Well, for companies, for full time staff, well, you're entering, entering as a full time it's staff. Full I think stated, it's yeah. I think it's a yes. I'll yeah, give them a yes. But for core members, coppers, hey, or, or please, contract staff, sometimes. or contract staff, please, yes, no. <laughs> no, no, for core members, <laughs> it's no because you'll be surprised sometimes when you get to to wherever you've been, you were sent to your PPE or something, and you'll be you'll be scared because the place is not even somewhere that you would want to 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 work to work, and sometimes you just, you just get so discouraged, especially for core <laughs> members. Their employment term is they're not even employed. Please, they're serving the country. Have job but <laughs> they, just come. it's a no for core members, but for Real time, probably a full time staff. It's it's a yes. They do that. Mm. Okay, um, let's consider work life balance. Okay, in, um, you know, organizations in general. Do you think that they provide work life balance to their employees? Work life like balance. Like the, the, the environment okay. encourages you know work life balance for their employees. Ah, please, people staying in Lagos. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, and why I say that is that it's not okay. a I know the state you rested eh, in, but I'm just saying I live in Lagos, so let me use Lagos as my number one, uh, my area of uh, concentration. Please, no, because living in Lagos, trying to balance your life, your your work life, and your family, your family is very difficult. Like it's so so difficult. The stress you have to go through getting to your company in the morning maybe you now have one boss that is his or head is shaking <laughs> or something or probably okay. they are lucky you have a good boss or something but for Lagosians, i would say no it's actually very hard for some of us to actually balance our work and our personal life i'm not saying this there is a total no there are still a lot mm. of people that, that are able to balance yeah. it but for some for many people hear them complaining this and this is that i'm always tired i'm waking up 3 a.m in the morning i get back by 12 a.m and all that please it's a no for legosians like let's say half 
of the population. So, okay, speaking on behalf of Lagos, yeah. yeah. But I put it I to think you we that need there to are people staying that. out of Lagos that still do not have work-life balance. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, mainly, Definitely. when we're talking about work-life balance, is it is um, if the you know work provides the opportunity, like if if the work kind of supports or complements the Your quality of life that, that you desire live. to yeah. have. Yeah. So it depends on you know what your job entails, it, mm -hmm. like the daily routine, what you have to do, how you have to get on the road often. Like mm -hmm. some there are, there are people that are working remotely. Mm -hmm. They may be in this Lagos, and they will tell you that their work supports. You know, they, I mean, it encourages them to have work life. Mm. So it depends on. Okay, for you. So is it a yes or a no? I think yes. Okay. Um, I think yes. Most especially with. <laughs> With the recent, um, you know, working schedule, working um, style for most companies now where mm. we get people to work remotely, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think that's a good step to really ensuring that, uh, I mean, you could have a bit of, um, you know, time for some other, mm. other aspects of your life. And there are, apart from, you know, having enough time, there are some organizations that really, you know, are just really intentional about the welfare of their employees. And they actually put things like they really put things in place aside from oh you know less w working hours and mm -hmm. all. Some of them could set out a particular day of the week where they could just you know have you know fun, unwind, have yeah. games. You know, I mean, I have friends that work in organizations like that, mm. and it's really nice. As I work, they can mm. get to really play and mm. you know you know be friends and you know. But it please, really nice. this thing so that Tolu is saying, it sounds like, like story. No, it's it sounds like fairy tale to my kid. Like, hello. For, <laughs> I, I think I'm, I believe I'm speaking a lot of people's <laughs> mind that are watching. Like, it, it sounds like fairy tale. It sounds like, you know, something that you just see that this you're like, huh, so this thing is really happy. Yeah, I, yeah. You're down here, you're looking at it like, oh, well, Some is it like that? Some of fitness, um, you know, um, fitness routines. Mm. I mean, imagine... I, I, we have someone close to so one of our friends that mm. is working in a particular place and on Friday they get to play um, basketball or table mm. tennis or something mm. at work. Why? Because the workspace is really mm. conducive. I mean, they really they were really intentional Please. about, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Rookie, you cannot relate. I don't know why I like this. You know what <laughs> I would say to our viewers? This thing that is saying is something that you can actually covet. You, As she's saying it, maybe you can be saying, God, I receive... I received this kind of thing in my life, and I, I, I actually <laughs> want to work in somewhere like this. What she said, I didn't even. Well, maybe some people are actually experiencing it. Very, but it's not of the, the percentage is very, very low. So my answer is still please. No. Well, I'm totally saying yes. I think we have a higher percentage of companies that will want the um, good of their. Sure, you know, their sure. Staff, they their say employee. so, but do they do that? Please. At least to the give next them 60, one. 60, 40. So, yes. Yes, okay. We have more please. companies that would ensure right. work life balance for their okay. employees. Okay. All right. I will, we'll see about the next one we'll talk mm, about. It. Please, <laughs> closely related to this, the next factor <laughs> I feel that it's also important is how you get to your place of work, which is commuting um, travels mm. as well. So, for you, do you think that companies in Nigeria actually help their? Employees, I, I've not finished asking my question, Tolu. Please, okay, no. <laughs> help their, their employees to get home or something. Is there, or probably even if they don't, if they don't have buses, there is actually transportation um, allowance you know in your no. salary or something. Well, Yours is no, right? Well, well, for me, I think mine is salary, yes, yes, see. it's in your salary even package, your, so your, they're helping, even if your company provides. Um, Star bus mm -hmm. and everything. The kind, the situation in Nigeria, the traffic congestion, especially in big cities like Lagos, Abuja, and all, it will frustrate you to even think that was not the essence of the of the of the star bus that we even have. It's not, it cannot fly. It cannot. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not mm, an but if you follow star bus, I believe there is hold up. All of us will get to work late. Ah, okay, so they can <laughs> Yes, now. See, no. And we have really have few few companies that um, do that. Do that. They yeah. may just include that, you know, they may include an allowance to mm. cater for that, you know, in your salary. But, I mean, I don't think they do much for that. So, no. so yours is no. Well, mine is yes. I feel that they do. As far as there is a transportation allowance in your salary, they pay mm. you money for that. So, what? <laughs> Enjoy it, please. Whatever. Mm. <laughs> Another one is... Um, let me say, accountability and responsibility. Okay. Um, do you think that 
companies um you know lay down you know responsibilities more like job description and they also ensure that their employees are you know accountable to the organization yes yes okay because i think that a lot of employers are very or can be very strict with their employees mm -hmm. so they like they pay attention to how you do your job yeah. They don't play with their they pay job. To the delivery rules. Yes, so they don't. Tasks, yeah, so that they make their money. Yeah. Yeah. That I is think beneficial yes. to the company. So yes. 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 It's you a yes know, for me. Companies, you know, mm. give out job descriptions mm -hmm. to the employees, and they also follow through with that, mm. ensuring that every like all hands mm. are on deck to you know mm. promote the good of the company. Mm. So yeah. All right. So we are actually uh, running out of time right now. So we we'll just mentioned one one more. Yeah. Each um factors that yeah. influences I think health and safety work really. condition mm -hmm. exactly yeah. so health and safety is yes one. i think for health and safety what's mm -hmm. my 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 take on that for health and safety nigerian companies do they actually um pay attention do they care about the health and the, the safety of yeah. their workers. employees their workers well let me think about that <laughs> well it depends on the sector i feel that for sector that really needs this it's a no mm. for a sector that is very very important probably like these them um, probably firms that they do a lot of physical production. job and production and, and all mm -hmm. that i'm i'm saying no because i have family i have friends that work in such organizations and some of the stories that they share with me places where you need working jazz you need helmet mm -hmm. you need your equipment you know you need, you need some kind of safety board. boots and all that they are not provided you are left to fend for yourself mm -hmm. and sometimes especially for the um contract staff mm. anything happens to you please you're taking care of yourself by yourself yeah. the company is not responsible for whatever that happens to you they, they tell you that so for companies that this thing is very important for so when it comes to hygiene or safety precautions and all that it's a no and then for companies like bank bank and um, bankers yeah. or probably official jobs that has to do with probably writing and all that they make allowances mm -hmm. Probably sometimes they even do healthcare insurance exactly. and all that. They do that. that. Yeah. It's a yes for such companies. Insurance. But for companies that really need it, no, no, it's. You actually said my mind. So yeah, no for the companies that really do need it. But some other sectors like banking, you know, um, and the other the other ones, mm. they may pay that. You know, they may put that into consideration to really ensure that um, their you know employers are well taken care of ensure that their insurance pack uh, mm -hmm. package are you know robust and all of those things so yeah mm -hmm. all right so the last but not the least we'll mention we have a lot but we can't just exhaust everything, everything. today is performance management which involves setting your goals your tasks and when you now meet up with the company's expectation how, how well are you or do they compensate yes, you yes how well are you rewarded mm -hmm. or compensated or even promoted. Some companies, there is no promotion scale anything. Uh -uh. How you started? Where you started, that is where you see. There is no, no level. Like there is no or promotion, you, but you, you, don't, you can't tell when it will come. It's Some days, no, it's not no stated at all. Please. <laughs> Some will have to go to more days to pray hard. No. That will come true. Exactly. I think oh, for Lord. a lot of companies, some of them were some some type, Sha, please let me say it that way. It's a no, but still, it's in between yes and no. Please let me not just say no. Mm. Yes and no in between for performances, how they reward you. Probably you met up with your with your target or something. Yeah. Are you really compensated for that? Yes and no. Please do well to leave your comments yeah. and regards any of these things that we've shared today on set. So Tolu, please your final words to Nigerians. Well out there. Do I have a final word? As we got this topic. Exactly. Well, I would just say that um, employers of labor should do well, they should do right by their, by their employees, employees to yeah. know, ensure that they have conducive work environment that mm -hmm. would, you know, um, motivate them, that will bring out the best of them, and most definitely it will impact on their produ productivity. So, I mean, it, you, no one is going to lose. It's a win-win situation when you know employers are really concerned about the welfare of their employees, yeah. and in return, you would see that your employees are also loyal to 
you know, the company, mm -hmm. you know, they'll put the interest of the company mm -hmm. first and mm -hmm. everybody will just really be good. In everybody the will be happy yeah, so. at the end. So mm -hmm. this is where we draw the curtain today uh, for as many people, our viewers that are watching us that are really seeking God for better placement. I pray that really God will help us, will Amen. help you and provide something worthwhile, something that will make you satisfied and I happy in Jesus name. You. All right. So we'll catch you some other time. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Bye.